This kind of uh, measurement for knowledge management hasn't been used before. It's almost always been the process <coughs> approach to knowledge management rather than very granular practices. There are some studies, some quantitative studies, using individual specific practices. But this is the first time I've tried, I think anyone has tried to pull together all the practices for the purposes of measuring knowledge management. Uh, I categorized them myself. This, this was before November 22 when I could have used uh, a large language model to help me analyze all of that data. And so I did it manually and came up with these kind of categories, which is really only for convenience because it was going to then be subject to data collection and analysis afterwards. Uh, but with more than 100, it was difficult to comprehend them. So using my experience, I came up with these categories. Um, I tried to pick four or five practices from each category to use in the, the survey. Just to blow up one category a little bit to, to try and explain what I mean. So within each category there's maybe two or three levels of getting down to the practice level. So within networks, network practices, you have different practices to connect people to places or contexts such as study visits or job rotation. You have practices to connect people to one another, like people finders or communities of practice or interest. We have a lot of practices to connect people to knowledge artifacts, to, to documents, to <coughs> repositories, to libraries. We even use knowledge brokers sometimes. And there's even some practices to connect us to partners, um, such as guidance notes. So each of these seven categories had a, a large number of practices, and I chose in the end uh, only 30 to go into the study. Uh, and I know this is too small to read, but it's in the, it, this uh, presentation is available for you to download so you can look at them. These were the questions I used in the study to define knowledge management. Uh, and I didn't want more than 30 because it's very hard to get people to fill in a survey even knowledge management people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I tried to keep it as short as possible. All the questions had to be scaled on a Likert scale. There were also five factors measuring innovation. So in total, there were 35. And what I hoped is that the data would reveal some kind of way of clustering and grouping um, these practices, because I'd had a go kind of manually, I wasn't really happy with it. I thought maybe the data will, will, will reveal some kind of um, organization schema for practices. Um, but it didn't. The practices are highly correlated to one another, keeping in mind these are all not actual knowledge management practices used in international organizations. <coughs> Some were more correlated than others, Maybe you can imagine some kind of groupings between them, like I've done here with the dotted line, but in practice, uh, there needs to be a lot more study into making knowledge management practices um, a, a more proven measure of knowledge management.